<laughs> All right, you guys. So let's come back to the topic of faith, love, and sex. What's number one, two, and three for you? And I really want to talk about that communication difference between boys and girls. Ooh. 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 All right, Kate, Araceli, what's number one, two, and three for you, and why? From? Sex, faith, and love. On okay, love, sex. so we said faith is going to be first because I'm seeing all these qualities in a person that gives me faith to get to the next level. And then sex. I think it's sex, yes, because love it's something that you develop with time. It's not something that it will come like right around. So you're telling me you don't believe in love at first sight? I Ooh, that's a great question. Do we look? believe yes. in love okay. at first sight? I think... Is it possible that women don't believe in love at first sight? No, this... no, no. I you absolutely think don't. I don't know, maybe I... We have a bigger list than you. Was, maybe <laughs> I, I used to believe in this, like when I was really young, I think that there is lust at first sight. There's mm -hmm. connection, there's passion, mm -hmm. there is, there's all these feelings that you can think that you, that you have, you know, at the beginning, yeah. but it's something that it's going to play either way. That's lust in love. Lust exactly. is the L-U-S-T. It's going to be, it's going to be the lust. So the question is, is it possible for someone to feel that and know that this is their soulmate and actually have it be their soulmate? Oof, that's a powerful question. Well, but you only know that with time. Actually, I have a story about you know that. With time? Yes, I have a friend of mine that so, met her, her. You have to pass the test of time friend. to know if that last became love. Right. I have I have a friend of mine that they met in school. Yep. They met, they met in high school, mm -hmm. and honestly, they became best friends, and we all started like saying, oh, "This is you know going to be like something that will pass." Mm -hmm. And they're like, I don't know how many years by now. They're like twelve. 16 years yeah. together. Yeah. I don't know how many years together, but they they just, but you know what? I it's think, weird because they would get along since the first day, and I never saw that madness that the other girls, you know, were like writing letters, sort of getting excited. No, like I saw her very, like, she knew that that was the man she was going to end up marrying. Now they have a kid. They haven't gotten married, so I expect that invitation. Oh, <laughs> for how long they've been together? For like, I don't know. By now, I have lost the count, probably like 12 years or more. I think it's something that's Maybe not going to be seen as much in our in our generation, but in previous generations, I think you did see it a lot, where you had people that kind of had standards for what they kind of knew they wanted, and they had that void where they wanted to feel loved, they wanted to be loved, and it was a completely different time where you could look at somebody, you could say, okay, cool, like, I choose you, and things were just flowing, that things were like good. That is love at first sight. Of course love it is. Love at first sight is like looking at that person and saying, this is the person that I want for the rest of my life, and knowing it. That's what I feel. So you do believe in love at first sight. So you do have faith I have into faith. this love at first sight. I will. Because That's something faith. you cannot touch, but you have faith that is there. Yes. Absolutely. I so always have faith. I just think it's harder now for people in our generation to kind of do that because mm -hmm. there's so much distraction. It's like, think about it. Our grandparents, like when they were in love, you had you, your spouse, your kids, Four walls as your house, maybe a TV, and that's your world. That yeah, but that work. can make you also settle for less because you didn't know anything better. What I'm saying is you don't see as much, but now that you have the world of Instagram, someone could say, oh, okay, cool, I've met someone at first sight. You're scrolling and you're looking at and my hundreds of like, people oh, a day thinking, I want that, I want that. Look at this person travel or look at this person's relationship. This is what I want to be with. Look how he looks. Look how he goes to the gym. Look how he's fit. Then you have to make your board. There's distractions. <laughs> Of how you want it, who you want, and then it will come to your life. You attract. That's what she says. Yeah, that's what she board. says. Um, how do you guys? How do you Don't guys argue. feel about? Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 How do you guys feel about these couples that like seem um, completely a hundred fifty percent happy in front of cameras, but then behind closed doors they hate each other? How like, do we know that they hate each and other? And you, you're talking about settling for less, right? I think I was in that. But how about like faith though? Like, do you really have to yeah. settle for less when you are actually trying out something? Like, it doesn't mean settling for less when you're actually you trying know, out the errors. You, when you settle for less, when you don't, you don't love yourself enough. Oh. When you don't love yourself enough that you say, Drop you know what, maybe this is everything I can get, so. Mm -hmm. You know, we get alone, everything is okay, we don't argue, he, he, he cooks, I don't know, he cooks, he cleans the dishes, he, 
Yeah. You know, he, he, you know, he takes the pets job. out. He takes care of this whole thing. He pays the bills. Everything is comfortable, right? But then, do you think that that's the person that... Do you want to be comfortable or happy? I want to be happy. All right, but I then do. is what makes you happy the same thing that's going to make you happy six months from now or six years from now? That's the question. And when you say don't Happiness settle... Happiness is for me. And when you say figure out what you want, you have your board, right? And don't yeah. settle, right? You may want certain things and you say, I deserve to have this. And then once you have it, naturally, as human beings, our instinct is to say, take it oh, for granted. well, now I think I want this. I feel I deserve this. Well, you're already stuck married with the ring of someone who has the first standard that you had set. Now, all of a sudden, you want someone that either has more money or is more successful or does more traveling or, you know, whatever the case might be. How do, you, what, how, do you, how do you describe that as not settling at that point? Because no, now no, your because, heart says, because, well, I want what I see on Instagram. Look at, look at these Yeah, Instagram but that, that girl on Instagram or boy on Instagram is also going to make you unhappy it's just and crazy. Picture. It's, yeah, like whoever you see that is like with booty shorts and the grocery store, Whole Foods or Publix, that girl or guy is also gonna make you fucking nuts, right? So you have to just have faith that the one that you picked and choose out of your list is gonna make you happy and love, right? So what if you picked someone at 18 years old and you are not allowed to choose anymore after that? Because that's Well, it almost picked. happened to me. Because you used to, uh, it almost did happen to me. This is why I'm asking. This is why I'm asking. It almost did happen Then you break up like a boss. You break up like a boss and you set up a new standard, but then, is everyone supposed to break up like a boss every time they feel unhappy in a relationship? Oof, that's a great question. I don't think that it's that is when you feel unhappy because unhappiness it's it's going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to get on a fight. We're gonna we're not going to want to see each other. We're going to sleep in one on each side of the bed. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll be in the car. But <laughs> so I'll you sleep on the couch. I'll be on the bed, and then when you stop acting up, I'll let you come back to the bed. Then I'll change. You the definitely piece. won't get sex. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fake. Back to Maybe the couch. Fake. Maybe fake. Back to the couch. No, you'll be on the carpet. It's fine. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let's talk about that. What's up with that? You women using sex to withhold as punishment. You guys like, use money and success. But what if you? And no, the women are right. equally as exactly. We're never going to be equal. Are, no, I'm not talking about equal as okay. everything else. I'm talking about you, you. You talked about men using money, which I, I've seen that. But then women do the same thing too. If the women is the one in power with the money and the guy doesn't earn as much. You like, know what? I'm going to tell you one thing. I've learned from experience that that doesn't work. Because the moment that you start playing those games, mm -hmm. pushing buttons to see which one wins, Everyone you know what's going to happen? Escalating. No one is going to win. Everyone is going to lose. Yes. So the moment that that happens, would you need, obviously, at this time of my life, I can say that I know that it's communicate. It's to talk to each other, to observe, to listen. Because then if I sit down, maybe the things that I think that they're not bothering you, mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. And what if the things that you're doing unconsciously, they are getting me to a different level? Then I think that you should communicate. And if you love that person, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier because when you love that person, you want to believe that there's a future and that tomorrow you're going to wake up in the same bed together and even if you don't want to see each other you're going to continue you know holding hands like and, you're supposed to and that's the faith part that's the yes. part that you but i think that women we hold hands. this so why don't women resort to this men. before kicking the men on the couch and withdrawing so sex? have you have you uh, uh, started there, you're right. there's a different type of women there are different types of women as there is type of different type of women, women with the fire so have you talk, have yes. you studied joe dispensa and he talks that's about so how the subconscious <laughs> becomes your body and on that topic of body and sex and subconscious your body becomes a subconscious and it your body dictates who you have chemistry with who you don't feel like bad about kissing or like you just having human contact yeah but men can have sex with whatever like just as long as it has long hair it's true. like they can just have sex without having a feeling that's what i think you know we have to Absolutely either not. either have something for that person <laughs> or think about someone else but you have to have something that is exciting you mm -hmm. i really love the fact that we're talking about different so you feel the guys can sleep with anything so yes this is different agreed. communication right i did i did not agree yes you did. no you I did you didn't agree but i want to i want to talk about this so you you're telling me <laughs> that girls 
cannot just sleep with somebody and just have the sex part without the love and the faith. It's less common. I that yeah, girls can do it, especially yeah, in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's, let's 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 make that very clear. Let's okay. Yeah, it's one thousand percent true. I've been to different places all over the country, and I feel like places that are a little less city, like more rural, more suburban, okay. different cultures. It's completely different. But anyways, I digress. Uh, let's not post stereotypes. Women definitely can do the whole sex around thing without having any emotional. I just think it's more common with men. But like I think, but th but I think that they still have to have a feeling, either if it's not for you, for someone. No. They need to have something that is driving them to crave being with a person because we are more into our head. That's what they call it, that we need to be mindful. Mind five before packing because so, your body becomes your subconscious yeah. and we're going to take it up in the next episode.